All right, the chip war, we're also tracking that this morning. The chip war is heating up. Intel shares, they are moving higher pre-market after announcing a new data center chip. Now, the unit is designed for high-performance computing for AI data centers and introducing an AI accelerator as well. Intel has been lagging far behind some of those chip maker competitors like NVIDIA and AMD. Intel's new products, though, are they enough to take some market share from the chip giants? To break it all down, we've got Yahoo Finance reporter Dan Howley here with us, our tech DH. Dan, what do we know about this, and is it significant enough for Intel to take some market share? Yeah, Brad, these, these are kind of, the announcements have largely been te telegraphed. The, they, we have the, the Xeon 6, uh, that's the data center uh, uh, chip. It's not necessarily an AI accelerator like what you would get from NVIDIA uh, or, or AMD. It's really a, an all uh, kind of purpose chip. It's, it's a uh, high performance computing chip rather than something that would power, uh, say, generative AI. Uh, that's still very good. This is something that, all, I mean, servers still need these kind of CPU chips. So this is a, a, a big announcement uh, for Intel and for, for the industry. Uh, on the, the AI side of things, the, where all the hype is, uh, they announced their Gaudi chip pricing, uh, which they say is going to come in less than what you would see from uh, NVIDIA uh, or, or AMD, presumably. They did say exactly who, just competitors vaguely. Uh, but still, the fact that uh, you would be able to purchase a competitive chip uh, at a price that's lower than what you would have to pay for the likes of NVIDIA or AMD is important because the, those, those chips go for tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, so those are some of you know, the big deals that are, that are coming out of Intel on the data center side. They also announced uh, their new Lunar Lake chip. Uh, these are for uh, consumer and commercial PCs, uh, laptops and desktops. Uh, and they say that this is basically uh, a chip that will uh, be able to compete with the likes of ARM's uh, chip line, uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite line. Uh, those chips are basically designed to go ahead and rival what Apple has managed to do with its Macs, which is uh, build power and performance. So long battery life uh, and strong performance into a chip, something that uh, was really lagging on the Windows side. So uh, Qualcomm went ahead and did that with their ARM-based chip. And now Intel says uh, they're doing the same thing. Uh, and oh, by the way, AMD also announced uh, its own new AI accelerator roadmap, uh, as well as chips for laptops and desktops uh, and AI PCs. So Dan, talk to me about the customer that Intel is targeting and how that differs from NVIDIA's. I know they talked a lot about enterprise customers here. Is that an area that they see a stronger use case for in terms of gaining market share from NVIDIA? Yeah, I think really the you know the the hyperscalers are you know the Microsofts, the Googles, they, they're all in on Nvidia at this point. You know they they, they offer uh, competing uh, chips as well, just because you know their their customers want to have some kind of option when it comes to the the types of chips that they they may want to take advantage of when they're they're building out their their AI platforms. Uh, but this will allow for other companies outside of hyperscalers to get into generative AI at, at a potentially lower price. And I think that's something that's, that's worth uh, you know, acknowledging. Uh, it's not just the hyperscale, it's not just the Microsofts, the Googles, the Amazons, the Metas, uh, the Teslas, what have you. It's, it's healthcare, it's uh, you know, individual uh, research institutes, uh, it's, it's automotive industries. Uh, and so that's where we, we could see Intel really shine. Uh, they also, uh, you know, their, their uh, AI accelerator chip is going to pair nicely uh, with the Xeon 6 chip uh, just because they'll, they'll have the, you know, the, the compatibility uh, because they're from the same manufacturer. And so I think that's something that, that Intel also has. As far as market share goes, you know, I mean, look, NVIDIA is still the odds on leader in the space. They're, they're, they know what they, they've, they're doing. They've been doing it for a long time. Uh, they have the software and the hardware. They have that moat that they've built up uh, that's going to take a while to to get uh, companies to break through. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily means that we're going to see significant market share uh, improvements from Intel, but they'll they'll still you know gain some. Uh, but this isn't a you know knock Nvidia off off its throne kind of thing by by a long shot. All right, Dan, we got to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us on All Things Chips. A lot of news on your beat this week and always, so we appreciate it. Thanks so much.